Ghana-France relationship for me are very good. Ghana is a strategic partner of France in the sub-region. It is so because of the political stability of Ghana, because of its economic uh, weight also. It's a, it's a first GDP still in the sub-region after Nigeria. And uh, we see only good reasons to move forward together. Uh, not only the field of the economy, development is very important, but you cannot have development without uh, political stability and security in the sub-region. So security is also one main area of our partnership with Ghana. And uh, culture, when I say culture regarding Ghana and the sub-region, uh, I mean, of course, uh, French <laughs> French-speaking countries around Ghana and the need maybe for Ghana to speak more French as the, the neighboring countries also tend to speak uh, more English as well. Do you think that there is a will in Ghana to develop strong interest in learning the French language? I think, I think so, really. Uh, not for the sake of the beauty of the French language or for any other reason of that kind. Uh, even if that may occur later on, but for a simple reason, which is uh, named uh, regional integration. Uh, this is uh, an idea that has been, uh, uh, th that has emerged uh, along the past few decades, which is very important and especially very important to Ghana, because I know and we support the idea that Ghana uh, wants to play a major role in that uh, process uh, and one element, key element, of that, uh, the success of those uh, endeavors towards more regional integration is for Ghana to speak more French. Just to give you one example, um, it becomes more and more obvious for the Ghanaian youth, and we have concrete examples in some French companies here, with uh, young Ghanaians uh, uh, collaborators, or in the universities of Ghana, uh, that there is a will of the youth uh, to add one more asset, to add one more, you know, criterion in the uh, curriculum in order to get more jobs and career opportunities while speaking uh, a bit of French. Well, I see two main uh, uh, advantages which are actually uh, geographical. Uh, as I said, in the sub-region, there will be more and more integration. Integration means movement of population, means getting people working in uh, French-speaking countries, coming back and forth, uh, many exchanges, even staying in Ghana, uh, developing uh, contacts and being able to at least uh, understand a little bit of, of French and even more. And second, as you know, uh, French today is the second or third uh, no, uh, language the most used uh, in the business on the internet, so in the world. So it's not only in the sub-region, I'm talking also globalization. In our globalized world, uh, France, French is not comparable to English, but still it has a place and it will be more and more present in the future. Mm -hmm. So that is the second main reason in my view for getting youth since Ghana will be more and more uh, into that integrated, not only in, in West Africa, but also in the overall globalized context to, to speak French as well. Well, we, we try to have, a, first of all, a, a partnery approach. It's not like we come and say, you should do that, we will help you to do that, and that is, a, we try to, uh, to be partner, and so uh, to support initiatives and ideas that emerge from the Ghanaian society itself from the Ghanaian uh, government also. And uh, in this regard, we ha have signed last year um, a new uh, convention uh, with the uh, Ghanaian government, Ministry of Education, which main objectives is to help train the trainers of French teacher in Ghana. Uh, this is very important for, because first of all, uh, there is a need for more French teachers uh, here in, in this country and second uh, because there may be some margin of improvement in the methodology and this is crucial as you know if you want to be efficient in learning any country's language uh, to, uh, to, to, to be uh, the most efficient in terms of pedagogy so in the methodology uh, used. So that is a main core objective. 
but uh, besides, uh, we continue and we'll do more and more uh, to open up to the French culture in general and French language. It means francophonie, it's not only from France. As you know, we just had uh, last month the Francophonie Festival, it is a yearly event, and this event shows, I mean, the diversity, because cultural diversity is also one of the major values supported by all members of the Francophonie. By the way, Ghana is an associate member of the uh, Francophonie community, and uh, through that festival also, we tend to project the image of the French language through artists, through cultural activities, but also in the economy, in the business. We have different events and exchanges with the, I mean, uh, Ghanaians who, who come to Alliance Française and other places where those uh, events took place. And actually, I was very happy to see that uh, there were lots of people enjoying themselves <laughs> in all those events. Well, uh, generally, yes, it is uh, now we are a little bit above of the 2014 figures. Uh, last year was an exceptional year because we were close to $1 billion uh, imports, exports, and it tends to be more balanced than maybe it was previously. Uh, the only problem I see, because you have to see in the long run, as you uh, rightly pointed out, uh, is it, it is too concentrated, the bilateral trade is too concentrated on uh, let's say three major sectors like agriculture, agricultural products, pharmaceuticals and uh, oil refined products, which is not only the case with France, but we think, speaking broadly, not only uh, about trade but also investment, that uh, French expertise is available in many sectors and only few sectors maybe or too few are present in Ghana in, in big numbers. We, we can do more and always in the spirit of partnership. Long-term investment is not one-shot stories. We don't like it. We don't want to do it. We don't do it, actually. If you see uh, French companies already present in Ghana, and also commitments not only to the business, which is the core I issue objective, of course, but also to social and environmental aspects as well. And uh, be it in the agricultural field, already some companies here, like, uh, like Touton in the cocoa uh, transformation, uh, industry uh, financing uh, program for reforestation in Ghana or uh, when you see what a, co a company, just an example like uh, Galton Exotics producing lots of bananas and, uh, and uh, 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 pineapples uh, for the European market in particular uh, does in terms of uh, housing, education for uh, its staff and families. Uh, so uh, that is a commitment as well of the French companies which means commitment of France uh, to Ghana, in Ghana. About 100 people, uh, 100 companies, sorry, uh, members of the uh, Chamber of Commerce, France, okay. Ghana. Um, well, those French companies already uh, directly or indirectly employ uh, or uh, favor the uh, about 50,000 jobs uh, in, in Ghana today. And uh, just to give you one example, in the well, uh, in two weeks, um, a French company, uh, which is a world leader in sports uh, goods and equipment, named Decathlon, mm -hmm. D-E-C-A-T-H-L-O-N, will open its first store in Ghana, the largest in West Africa. Uh, why am I mentioning that? It's because uh, there are, uh, I mean, the, the, the turnover is about $50 billion and uh, they present, uh, $10 billion, sorry, they're present in 50 countries first time in Ghana, and they want very soon, in a few years, to uh, open a factory, their own factory in Ghana, uh, in order to uh, manufacture some good that would be sold in their stores, because they want to open several stores in Ghana. So the, that, is, that corresponds exactly to what I just said about long-term investment, but investment rhymes with commitment. Mm. And that is the idea, sports for all. And it's on the sports for all, you have, uh, uh, you, you have also the idea of, uh, you know, uh, creating jobs in the country. So I'm not the brand ambassador of that dick at all. I was just <laughs> mentioning that example because it is news. Yeah. It yeah. is news. Yeah. And it is a perfect example, in my view, of what I just wanted uh, you to understand about the, the approach of this market okay. by the French companies and by France. Well, five, ten years, you know, depending that you're on. Uh, uh, we have uh, currently uh, projects going on for not uh, 
finished um, uh, for about uh, three, uh, 350 million euros and it's mainly in sectors like energy, okay. uh, like uh, uh, agriculture and urban development. Um, the total of uh, the loans and given to, to Ghana uh, since the IFD, Agence Française de Développement, because it is uh, our main operator yeah. for uh, ODA, uh, is active in Ghana, which is close to 30 years, is, uh, if, which is 30 years actually, they celebrated their 30th anniversary of presence in Ghana in 2015, is uh, roughly 1 billion euros accumulated. Okay. But still, uh, from that 1 billion euros, 350 are uh, ongoing projects okay. which should be finalized in, uh, in the years ahead of us, in the one, two years uh, ahead of us. I can, one example in the energy sector, because this is one sector where both on the um, uh, public assistance uh, aspect but also the private companies, there is a, a, a very strong French expertise. Just two examples which contributes to the uh, uh, climate change policy of Ghana and to uh, uh, increasing uh, the um, power generation capacity in the renewables. One is the uh, renovation of the Kapong Dam mm -hmm. uh, because the turbines had to be repaired. That is uh, in the largest part financed by France. And second example, and back to the regional integration, to help uh, make Ghana or play its full part of a hub uh, in the region while uh, co-financing the uh, modernization uh, of this high voltage interconnection with Burkina. Okay. So uh, that means lots of uh, local stations and uh, of course the, the network itself. Uh, and by the way, it's a French com company, Effage. Okay. It happens to be because it's an open tender. Huh? It's, it's not. Uh, uh, that uh, French company, along with other companies, is actually doing the job. So in one or two years, it should be finished, uh, completed. Uh, so that's two examples uh, with I in the energy sector. And we have lots of program projects going on in uh, some cities of Ghana, not only Accra, but Kumasi, uh, transport inside the cities or uh, creating some slaughterhouses in some places. Well, that is part of the overall, uh, which is called the GUMP project is uh, for urban modernization uh, in the cities of, of Ghana. That is, uh, well, to help reach a kind of sustainable urban development, okay. if you wish, because sustainable development is the overall uh, uh, motto for uh, public assistance as it is for the Euro European Union. I, sh I shall add that, uh, and it is also the way of the future, not only for France, but for many donors, and it corresponds to the uh, present government of Ghana orientation, pro-business, uh, which is helping private sector to flourish and develop in Ghana. And we have also a private body called ProParco, which is a subsidiary for supporting private sector of the Agence Française de Développement and uh, they are banks to invest and finance in uh, private companies in Ghana and in uh, priority sectors also. So they, they, they have another approach which is not government to government but more financing the private sector directly or through the banking system of Ghana. So helping that way also this economic sector, the whole private economy sector to uh, strengthen. Uh, what I wanted to say or add, since you're mentioning the uh, multilateral donor, and uh, EU would be one of them, European Union, uh, well, Europe as a whole is a major partner of Ghana, and it is logical because Europe is a neighboring region of West Africa. So we have to develop close ties, not only the trade and investment or development, but in all areas, actually. And uh, France contributes a great deal, close to 20% of all the European money uh, financing, supporting uh, various projects uh, here in, in, in Ghana. So as you can see, uh, France is still a major uh, among the donor partners of, of Ghana. But we don't look only at you know, official development assistance, or we look at uh, helping, supporting the private sector, because ultimately it is a wish of this government, it is the interest of the population, and I think it will help Ghana uh, finds its right place in the sub-region and, and beyond. French for, uh, investment is, is about 1.5 billion euros. 
in various sectors because you have major uh, groups present in Ghana uh, which have been investing for, for years, like uh, in, including in the banking sector, Societe Generale. It is uh, their biggest investment in that sector of um, uh, Bolloré group. Huh? It's a group Bolloré. Uh, which knows very well the African uh, context and is present in other countries as well. So it is good news, I think, uh, that this project is on f good tracks and will, uh, will be completed uh, in due course in uh, three or four years. Uh, by the way, they are also financing the mod enlargement of the highway between uh, Tema and Accra. So it will help a great deal uh, in the whole uh, business uh, in that greater Accra region. Uh, Technip, uh, you mentioned, uh, was, I would say, one of the key partners of, to help Ghana develop so quickly uh, this oil and gas industry. Since you discovered the first fields offshore, uh, they are uh, number one, or among the number ones in the world in terms of uh, uh, technology for all those subsea equipments, yeah. which were crucial to the development of that industry. They are still present in Ghana, presently working on the Sankofa, uh, project, but they're still active in the main uh, uh, fields uh, of Ghana. Uh, one of the biggest investments would be Bolloré, uh, depending on the sector, uh, the activity is really difficult to say. I would say you have Total also, mm -hmm. not in the upstream but downstream okay. of oil and gas industry. They are very much present in Ghana. Uh, while contributing, contributing to uh, to the I mean to the core act, business and activity in in, in Ghana, uh, so it's uh, ready. Uh, Joker cannot answer that question. How about defense? Defense relations. I I I think also that the French government is supporting defense in Ghana. How well is that going? Well, the, the context, as I said, we have a, a threefold approach in our partnership with Ghana which is uh, culture with la francophonie, speaking French, learning French. We think it's the interest of Ghana and we want to support that. The economy, I just uh, spoke about it, and security because we don't have long-term, long-lasting development without security. Yeah. And we're talking about the sub-regional context and Ghana being a part of that context. Uh, we are keen to support any efforts of Ghana in, on some priority uh, uh, sectors which, uh, um, which uh, correspond to the main challenges. So, namely, we are two or three, uh, of course, maritime security is important. So we have, on a regular basis, uh, French uh, uh, Navy ships coming to Ghana, not for just protocol or uh, port calls, but also a practical exercise at sea in order to train uh, the, and along with partners you know, on that, in particular, French Navy is not alone, but we are quite pr present in the sub-region to help fight uh, piracy and illegal fishing, so main challenges of Ghana. By the way, I think one of the strategic orientation of Ghana, which I think uh, is, is growing in importance, uh, uh, is the blue economy. And uh, so you already have the offshore resources, you have the, the fishing activities, and tomorrow tourism. Mm -hmm. And uh, that related to the sea. So there is a great potential, and you have to protect that. So uh, maritime security has also an economic aspect, very strong aspect. It's not only pure security, if I may say. A program of cooperation with uh, relevant uh, security agencies in Ghana uh, in order to, to support the training in particular and exchange good practices for, the, uh, for, for those forces uh, involved in that uh, counter-terrorism. And there are also many aspects which I cannot elaborate here okay. uh, today, but uh, as you can imagine, it's, uh, it's a comprehensive approach to security that we're trying to uh, develop in our partnership with Ghana. Do you know how many French citizens are living in Ghana currently? Well, for those, actually, we try to know, <laughs> a figure as close as possible to uh, reality. Uh, it's close to uh, 1,200 okay. uh, uh, people, uh, all uh, families, all included, uh, mainly 80% plus in Accra. Okay. And uh, then Kumasi, uh, also Takuradi and, and Tema.
okay. and uh, mainly expatriates. Okay. Uh, we, we don't have that many uh, binationals for okay. obvious historical re reasons of a relationship to, to, to Ghana. Uh, so, uh, no, uh, they are doing well, they are young, dynamic, and uh, they all like to be in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Maybe around, and, you know, it also depends on criterion. Yeah. When I talk about 1200, I mean people here more than six months for the majority okay. because it's then where we, we push very hard for people to come and, and uh, register. Okay. But there may be people coming for business or other reasons just for one, three, four months that are also in Ghana. Uh, same for Ghanaians in France. But I would say that I think the figure would be uh, around uh, two to three thousand. Okay. Well, the prospects are very bright and look very positive to me uh, because, I mean, it's not a question of political uh, tendency. I mean, it's, uh, it's a strategic uh, orientation. Uh, France and Europe, and France in Europe, uh, wants to, to develop that partnership, dealing with security, dealing with climate change, dealing with uh, migration problems. Uh, and that kind of problem. Development, sustainable development in general, you can do that, you can better address those challenges at the regional level, okay. not only bilateral. That's why I, our bilateral cooperation uh, is put in the, in, in the framework of regional integration. Mm -hmm. And be it under the francophonie, the security, even the economy, they are all uh, corresponding so to, speak, to this uh, movement towards more regional integration. The same in Europe, we know that lots of things we cannot do at the bilateral or at the level of one single state, country. We have to do it, you know, jointly with our partners. And we think that uh, this model of regional integration is a model of the future to better address those challenges I just mentioned. Therefore, we try to help Ghana play its full part Maybe with some of its neighbors, uh, we support uh, the ideas developed by the, uh, the president, uh, Akufo Addo, to maybe get closer to, to Côte d'Ivoire. Not because Côte d'Ivoire speaks French, but because we see that Côte d'Ivoire and Ghana, they are made for each other. And, and, and if they really manage to uh, develop that partnership, what we did between Germany and France, for instance, that would mean a great news for all countries of the sub-region. So we should have a pragmatic look at things. Uh, of course, all regions of the world are not comparable. They have not the same history, not the same geography, people are not the same. Proper approach to integration, that is the key. And again, for the reasons I just mentioned, each uh, region or sub-region uh, must uh, find uh, its own way to move forward, uh, getting closer with all the, the, the uh, countries of that same region. So I have uh, particularly no, no, uh, you know, uh, no advice to give, mm -hmm. but uh, we of course support ECOWAS and, uh, and the integration in, in West Africa. Uh, regarding the economy, um, when I said I didn't uh, elaborate, I mentioned that uh, the trade was too, uh, let's say, narrowly concentrated on sex, some mm -hmm. sectors, but in general, economic exchanges and investments in Ghana could benefit from expertise of France in major sectors uh, of Ghana's future development. Just two examples again. Uh, the one is uh, tourism, the second is uh, uh, digit uh, digitization. Sorry. Uh, on the first one, uh, we really want to support uh, Ghanaian governments finding its way to uh, really uh, developing the potential for tourism in this country. Because I think in the longer term approach of Ghana's development and job creation in particular, uh, there is a great deal of potential that hasn't been developed in the past in these countries. And France being number one in the world in terms of uh, tourist des destination, we welcome uh, 82 million people a year uh, visiting France for various purposes. And we think that uh, the potential of Ghana can be used also to that extent in bringing more you know, foreign currency, tourists, and creating jobs here in this country. Uh, but to help find the right approach and right orientation, what to develop here as tourist uh, attractiveness for the country, uh, there we can maybe help in you know, exchanging views and uh, 
for that purpose, giving some advices. And the second, uh, regard uh, digital economy. Uh, you may know that Paris uh, is, uh, in Paris, you have the call Station F. Station F is a world number one incubator. Mm -hmm. The largest incubator in the world with startups, hundreds of them, it is in Paris because uh, they there have developed some kind of cooperation, cooperation between uh, the, the city of Paris, the government as well, uh, the private sector and all the education and research uh, hubs. And they concentrate and in Paris, of course it's a big city, this partnership that Paris and Co is developing with Africa and Ghana. Mm -hmm. And second, uh, during that event, we, we will also focus on the artistic creation, cultural creation, because for us, and that will be co-organized by the economic section and the, of our embassy okay. and the cultural side. Okay. And uh, because in France, it's the way we look at things. You know, for instance, uh, uh, Ubisoft is the number one in video games. It's a French company. And it is clearly at the intersection of the, you know, business development in that sector, business development and, you know, uh, inventivity, creativity, uh, artistic, even a cultural creation, as we call it in France. Paris & Co. is a name, the brand name okay. of the uh, agency in charge of economic development in general of the Paris region. Okay. And uh, within that Paris & Co., uh, there is a... Um, uh, African incubators and create links. They will support them here, they will help them to come to Paris, you know, that kind of thing. Right.